Yet another set of depressing figures regarding the birth rate here in South Korea. April figures for the number of birds dropped to yet another record low. For more, we're joined by Mr. Lee Song Myung. He's the president of the Population Association of Korea. Good morning. Good morning. So first off, less than 20,000 babies were born in April, the lowest number for any month of April. What's your take on the latest numbers? Were you surprised, not surprised? No, not surprising. Because the lowest number of births, births and marriage is a cumulative effect, not a state Q problem. The population phenomenon in Korea needs to be addressed in a holistic approach based on our culture, history, and social economic environment. The same goes for population policy. Right. Right. The figure is in the cumulative number here in South Korea. And South Korea has a long suggested normalizing non-marital cohabitation and giving birth outside marriage as maybe solutions to low birth rate. Why do you think these solutions are not so appropriate or helpful to tackle the problem? Um, most, most Western demographers assume that low fertility ratio in East Asia and South Europe, largely due to their lower proportion of non-marital births compared to compared with countries in Western Europe. So, if we encourage cohabitation and and increasing non-marital fertility, that's both outside of marriage, then. Overall fertility, that is total fertility rate TFR, is assumed to be increased. However, Western demographics assumes are based on Western individual culture, mm. strong welfare system, and economic boom. However, in Korea, feminism culture has been remained strong, welfare system also weaker, and economic, economic conditions are uncertain. Unlike demographic prediction, TFR will not be increased. Uh, and more importantly, encouraging cohabitation and non-material boss can lead the the normal family, family dissolution. That is the strong linkage between marriage and co uh, child birth can be weakened. Then the possibility of declining marital fertility may be higher. If marital fertility declines, then TFR in Korea are more likely to be declined. Because Korea TFR largely cost of beta fertility, about 1980%. Also, I think non matter fertility rate will not go up 30 to 40%, like Western European countries. Right. Western European countries are definitely in different situations in terms of social and economic. They obviously have a stronger welfare system and also a better economic boom compared to South Korea long been. Now then, you're proposing that there should be ideas and solutions that are based on South Korea's history and culture, right? Then what could they yes. be? Yes, I agree that. Korean population polish must be in Korean reality, not Western imagery. First of all, the value of children is different in Korea and Western countries. As shown in the assumption of a famous economist, Gary Becker, child can be treated 
as goods or consumption in Western societies. But for Korean, their children are their family member who, who are not calculated economically. So the intrinsic motivation for child birth among Korean woman, Korean mother may not be their identity and the self-esteem which is obtained by child birth. So our country need to encourage this identity and self-esteem in order to encourage Korean, uh, Korean woman's intrinsic motivation for children birth, therefore to increase the effort. Definitely. Then South Korea is not just struggling with a low birth rate. Another challenge is the aging society, right? Yes. Now, one solution you proposed uh, based on your uh, studies is to managing aging population by getting rid of the retirement age, which is 60 here in South Korea. So in your theory, how, how will that work? Um, for me, getting rid of retirement age means that we need to use the wisdom and experience of the elderly to improve the productivity of our country. Not all older people has the wisdom and the good experience that younger generations need. So the repeating of retirement aging does not ap apply to all seniors. Mm. It should be selective. So you're saying not just getting rid of the entire retirement age, but maybe making it selective, right? Yes. All right, Mr. Yi Sung-yong, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Have a good day. Okay, you too.